Thank you. So let us open the book of Matthew 19, verse 19. Just a few texts there. Hallelujah. Are you there? Matthew 19, verse 19. Honor your father and your mother and love your neighbor as your... When you get home, just read the book of Matthew 19 and take it from verse 1 to the end. How can we love God without love our neighbor? It's not possible. You cannot love God without loving your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. Again? It's not possible. Today I'm so surprised when I see the religious people, the faith people. They claim to love God without loving their neighbor. It's not possible to love God without loving our neighbor. It is not possible. Think about that. Your neighbor can be those who do not share the same faith with you. It's not possible to love God without loving your neighbor. And many of us, we don't know the meaning of neighbor. Maybe those who do not return that love, love them. The question I want to ask you, do you love God? You love God? How do you demonstrate your love for God? If you say you love God, you should know how to demonstrate your love for God. How do you demonstrate your love? You demonstrate by this song, this school song. My hair, my shoulder, my knee, my toe, my hair, my shoulder, my... I oh, sing along with me. My hair... My shoulder, my knee, my throat, my head, my shoulder, my knee, my shoulder, my head, my toes, my knees, my toes, they all if they all belong to Jesus, do you know where you normally take this your feet? The company many of us are working, the owner of those companies, do you know them? Do you know their faith? Do you know where they belong? Hypocrisy. The bank that loan you huge money. Do you know the owner of the bank? Do you know the fate of the owner? When you are sick, you don't ask for a Christian doctor to treat you. You just ask for the specialist. You demand for specialist. I'm sick, I'm sick. Eh, 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 specialist, specialist. You don't want to know the fate of that man or that woman. You just need to be treated. Hypocrisy. When your pastor check out for medical checkup, he never asks who is the doctor that's going to treat him. He just wants to get well. According to the book of Matthew 19, verse 19, crying, praying, and fasting, or even pay tight. does not prove our love. Praying, fasting, crying, does not prove our love. Your love is proven only when you keep his commandment.
Tell your neighbor, my love is proven. Only when I keep his commandment. I can hear you. I can hear you. But when you know this, each time you come to show, uh, you want to be the elder of the show, the whatever you call, you want to be sure, you want to be known by your tithe, pain, whatever, what you're offering, or whatever. Your love is proven only when you keep his commandment. And you know what commandment says. Love your neighbor to keep your blessing and to make your blessing permanent today. His commandment to law is without exception. And law is the greatest. As I said, do you love God? How do you demonstrate your law for God? Love your neighbor as yourself. Your neighbor can be those who do not share the same faith, the same ideology, the same principle with you. Love them all. This is where we are today, all over the world, because of Love without God. Rise up for prayer. Oh, Holy Spirit. This is my heart. Oh, Holy Spirit. This is my heart. I can hear you. Oh, Holy Spirit. Oh, Saint Esprit. Merci, mon cœur. In Jesus Christ's name, we pour our heart. He know your desire. He know you deserve excellence. He know your desire. Remain silent and talk to him with all your heart. Deliverance for those who wait for deliverance. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Se liberado en el nombre de Jesús. Open your lips and begin to mention those areas in your life that need deliverance. Speak out those areas. Ouvrez vos lèvres et commencez à mentionner les domaines dans lesquels votre vie vous a besoin de délivrance.
You can see what is happening at different parts of the church. Those areas that need deliverance, mention you have been escaping deliverance in one way and the other. It could be your sin, your weakness. You have been escaping. Right now, those areas in your life that need deliverance, mention your head, your kidney, your liver, your tissue, your tender, your heart, your blood, your bone. You can see people vomiting out poisonous substance from their system. Release, 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 release. You release yourself. Those areas. Nightmare, your business, your marriage. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Begin to mention those areas. Those areas of challenges. Your ministry, your business, your family, your spiritual life. Tu vida espiritual. Your head. Tu salud. You can see people still vomiting out poisonous substance from their system in different parts of the church. The anointing of God has descended right now. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. 